what's up guys and um, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to show you how to get key red zone stops in Madden 19 and um, if you're the and this is I'm not saying this is what people run but like look PA dig we're going to cancel out the play action okay because if you notice the reason I'm picking this play is because there's a bunch of in routes and on the field I mean there's there's like le it's like a level concept so we're gonna we're gonna run with that because that's what I feel like most people might run with. And on defense, we're gonna come out in cover four drop show two because that is my red zone defense. So what, how we want to set it up? Okay, obviously we don't leave it like this. Okay, that's just dumb. Okay, we're gonna base align, which is triangle, right on the right stick, press, uh, pinch linebackers, and make sure the safety comes down too. Um, and we're going to shade underneath we're just triangle down on the right stick and then we're going to quarterback this is the key thing right here this is the very this is the key thing now this works even better if you have someone like a Luke Keekley or a Bobby Wagner or Anthony Barr that's the best person not to be honest but you want to and the reason this is so good with Keekly, the reason I'm using my team as an example, is because this works a ton for me. Keekly is like a 97-99 overall in this game. So he's like the best middle linebacker in the game. Other than, I think Bobby Wagner is a 99 or a 97 too. But what you want to do is you want to, instead of leaving him in this hook curl, you want to quarterback spy him. And I'm sure most of y'all know how to do that, but if you don't, it's double tap R1 to bring up linebacker adjustments, select Luke Keekly and move right on the right, I mean left on the right stick, if that makes sense. That puts him in a quarterback spy. And the reason I like to do this is because for one, it's like the perfect, he's like the perfect balance. He's 6'3", and he's like a 97, 98 overall. And his play rec is really high. So I'm gonna show you what happens whenever I try to throw like a, a typical drag route or slant route, in route against this. And so we're gonna block our running back so the play action cancels out and I'm gonna put this guy on the outside on an in route too. I'm gonna to throw to X and what people tend to do and this, 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 this should be pretty common sense I mean you obviously shouldn't throw this if you're a smart person but people that play this game aren't smart so yeah people are gonna to try to people will anticipate since you're bringing up all the linebackers it really it looks like I'm blitzing don't I? it looks like I'm uh, blitzing but I'm really not so they're gonna, it's gonna make them think, it's gonna make your opponent think, oh, let me just quick pass this before he get, before the pressure gets to me. Well, we'll watch. We're gonna throw that, boom, pick. See, that's that's the key right there. Now I'm gonna run it again. I'm gonna base the line. We're gonna bring everybody up to the line. Spy Keekly. Make sure. I don't know why the safeties don't come down when you press in the red zone in practice mode, but. We play, we play hard flats just in case he wants to get cute and throw that little and throw like an out route or something. We play we play hard. That's what we do for hard. We play hard flats for that. So this time, well, first I'm gonna throw. I got the wrong controller. My bad. I had a brain fart. I'm using two controllers. Sometimes it gets a little crazy. So we're gonna put him on the internet. We're gonna throw to X again just to show y'all that this works consistently. And I left the play action in there on accident, but as you see, he still got the interception. So we boom and money there. Um, I'm gonna this time. I'm gonna throw the in route right here. This time I'm, I'm gonna throw the in route. So we're gonna do our adjustments: baseline press, spy, spy Keekly, and <clears throat> and now we're gonna throw the in route. And as, if you notice, people will wait. You, got, you know, they're gonna wait. So he picks that too. So, I mean, people just, when people see a quarterback spy, they don't think about the fact that they can intercept the pass too, you know? Because if you think about it, you got a six foot three all pro linebacker sitting there. That He gonna pick that off, dude. Like, this is how I get most of my red zone stops when people try to pass against me. Even the passing play that I broke down earlier, like in the last video, when I'm using these same two teams because I recorded this back to back, sorry. But I'm gonna throw this again and you're gonna see that I picked up the wrong controller again like a dummy okay let me click off a of shack okay 
we're going to throw the in route again, right? Same route we just threw. He picked it again, you know? It, I'm telling you, it's so simple, okay? And if you're usering, if you're usering one thing and you're letting your QB spy defend another thing, that's like a whole new, that's like a whole new animal right there. So we're going to baseline press again. And I'm going to, I'm going to kind of test something out right here. I was testing this out earlier before, um, you see we got our defense right here so we're gonna try to throw that in route to Jamison Crowder in the back of the end zone I don't know if he'll defend that he might I'm not sure but see he didn't really defend that he didn't react to that so I guess that's that's like a counter I guess but sometimes he will like there's so there's some instances where he will so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do it one more time just to show y'all okay we're gonna throw both routes one more time we're gonna throw to X. Boom, pick every time. And and if you go up against a smart player, they'll start high passing on you. And even then, he'll he might high. Let's matter of fact, let's try this out. We're gonna try a high pass. We're gonna try a high pass and see if it works. See, he didn't react to it, but the receiver didn't, I guess. If you start high passing, I guess you could, that's like a one way of beating it, but we're gonna run, we're gonna run it against the in route again. Block our running back, put him on the in route, and you're gonna see, it's, it's the same thing. P most people should know this, I feel like, you know, but most people don't, some people don't, okay, and I'm, I'm just, I'm just, this may be common sense to every single person that watches this video, but I just want to show y'all a way that you could get red zone stops in Madden 19. I, and I did not click that y'all, okay? Y'all can't get me for that. So if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like and uh, look for more tips uh, in the coming days or months or weeks because I, I, I love doing this. I love teaching y'all how to play the game. So if y'all uh, liked it, subscribe, like, tweet me, like, share me and make sure I get out here because I really want to make sure that y'all know how to play this game and not run around with like chickens with your head cut off. So I got peace.